Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at Filmic Pro not working for sort of existing users. So this is for people, you know, you put your money down a while back, it used to be a sort of a single one-off price um, and now they've gone into kind of more of a subscription model. So you kind of come into the um, into the camera or into the phone, not the camera. Um, I, I'm going to screen record this, so I'll put it up on the side if it's not looking so good. Um, there should be a screen recording of it. So we open Filmic Pro and then you can see as we come in, we've got sort of like welcome, welcome to the newer version. I, this has been happening for a while now, but you know, it's just for people that haven't noticed that it, it's kind of like this. But you can see we've got all our controls as normal and then when you come up into the um, settings option you can see underneath it says pro and then if you want to do anything like change the um, the video resolution you can see now we've got basically the option to um, to sign up so it's sort of two two pounds a week so um, you're looking at just over a hundred pounds a year really um, but the thing is, we've already paid for it, so <laughs> we don't want to be doing any of that. Um, but what you can do if you want to recover your old version of it, um, if you come into here in the information, so uh, what I'll do is I'll just jump out of that again a second. So we're in the settings menu here, jump into that, go to information, and then if you scroll up a little bit, you'll see here, download Filmic Legacy. And Filmic Legacy is the one you want if you're on the old plan. Um, Basically, you're not going to get any updates or anything like that because it's obviously a, um, a, a it's sort of like an old version of it that it's just not going to get any updates because the new subscription model is where you need to be for all those little extras and things. But it still gives you the option to have the latest working version of Filmic on your on your phone with what you paid for. And, you know, it's kind of frustrating that they essentially offered it as a, you know, you pay once and then decided actually, no, it's a subscription model now, <laughs> which seems a bit out of order. But, um, you know, that's obviously the way they've gone with it. So, um, yeah, it just basically when we click on it, it just takes us to the app store. We've got Filmic Legacy. Um, you can see we've got in-app purchases, which we always did before because you could buy... Um, uh, I forget what they're called now, but there's like the um, the filter sets and things like that in there. So um, it has always been in app purchases for it, but when we get it, you should see that we'll um, we'll have like the the full set of options like we used to. I'll just speed this bit up so you don't have to watch it downloading. Okay, and then once it's installed. You probably won't see this on your camera. This is just on, sorry, on your phone, not camera. This is uh, just what it does on mine. Um, and then I can hit open. You should just have the option to open it. And then you'll be able to see we're back into the old version of um, Filmic. Uh, you can give it whatever uh, permissions you want to. If you want to give it location and Bluetooth, you can do that. Um, I just add them all whilst I'm using the app, and that's fine. And then you can see it doesn't look quite the same as the um, the other version. You know, we've, the UI is completely different, but we've got our settings down here. Click on it, and then we've got options to change frame rates. Nothing is like a, a pro option anymore. Everything's available as it used to be. And like I say, you know, if you want those newer features, unfortunately, you're just going to have to sub, uh, kind of subscribe to Filmic. But at least you've got the legacy version. You can still use that. So, um, yeah, if you're kind of wondering why it's not working, it's because of that. So, yeah, hopefully that's helped. If it has, give the video a like. And uh, if you want more content like this, then please subscribe.